Welcome back, people. We got the batteries broken up. 12 volt chunks. We got the iCharger 4010 Duo. We're going to do some testing. Before we get into the testing, let's talk about the specs. A123 system cell. Take a look at the highlighted area. 17.6 amp hours per 12 volt chunk that we took out. It's got a recommended charge of 24, max charge of 80. Eight cells in parallel should be 560 amps worth of discharge at 70 amps per cell. Pretty significant, but let's test it out. Before we can test, we gotta put together the balance leads. I thought it would be a good idea to get some alligator clips, put it on a 4S balance lead, and kinda get this thing a little more set up for, uh, you know, testing stuff. Basically get these things ready to solder. Figure it's nice to have some tools like this made up. It saves you a lot of time. Adhere it to something steady so you can actually solder the thing. Apply solder. Not that hard. Do the thing. And once you're done soldering, Break out your meter, use the continuity function, and test it. One of my favorite functions of the meter, testing continuity. So now let's hook the thing up to the battery. Got the positive and negative. Attach the balance leads. Attach the balance leads. Damn it, you got it. Okay, thank you for showing us balance leads. Attach the balance leads. Anytime now. Thank you. Starting from the negative. Next cell group up. Maybe I'll speed this up. Originally, I recorded a lot more footage, but I'm just going to cut some of it out. That's our balance board. This is a 4S battery. So we can plug this into the 4S balance lead when you're ready. So the uh, bat go unit. There we go. So that's the full charge. Nice. On to the time lapse. Going from uh, 3.6 charge all the way to 2.5 volts. And that's our total capacity, 11,536 milliamp hours. Discharge terminated because cell one hit 2.5 volts first. Let's look at the capacity. The spec sheet calls for 2,300 milliamp hours. The cell tested at 1,442 milliamp hours. That's approximately 37% capacity loss. This is certainly more degradation than I was expecting. It's hard to recommend for anyone looking for A123 cells. To make matters worse, my other module only tested at 7,500 milliamp hours, as cell group 3 basically fell flat on its face. I hope this video is informative and helps you make decisions regarding batteries and testing. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this in the future, more battery testing, and more battery projects.